Hello, this is Launch Director Marcion Krijgsman in Kerbal Space Program. If you don't know Kerbal Space Program, this is a game, a very educational game, in which you can create your own rockets, click all kinds of parts together and launch them into space. You can create beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, spaceship, rocket parts, you can create small rockets, big rockets, and uh, solid rocket boosters, uh, anything, and you can launch it into space and you can use your rockets to visit other heavenly bodies like the moon or the second moon of this planet, the planet is called Kerbin. Um, the second moon is called Minmus, it's a small body, you know, uh, there are planets here, there's so much to do, there's a whole solar system ready for you. And you learn so much about, for example, orbital mechanics. I'm telling you, you don't know orbital mechanics until you've played Kerbal Space Program. And um, unless you're from NASA, maybe. But okay. uh, but I'm going to show you something different in Kerbal Space Program that's actually not KSP as much, but uh, something I learned uh, in the last weeks in a... Uh, course from Coursera.org and I've uh, that is Python. I've learned Python in a course called Introduction to Interactive Python Programming uh, from Rice University. And it happens to be that there is a plugin for Kerbal Space Program where I can use my Python new gain Python skills to launch a rocket. It's called KRPC Server. You find it here. And I can start a server uh, it's called KRPC, uh, 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 the plugin, uh, and it starts. A s you can start a server, and now uh, you have Kerbal Space Program listening to Python programs that manage to connect to it. And uh, I have a script ready, and I will start that in a moment. I will explain some stuff about it. But first, let's go to the launchpad. So we're no longer in the vehicle assembly building. Here's the rocket. And I have created a program. And fortunately, I can't show you the program right away with my screen capturing software dictionary. Uh, but I will put paste them into the uh, final e finally edited uh, video. And what it's going to do, it's going to do uh, some couple of stuff. Uh, first of all, it will connect to the KRPC plugin. And uh, you will see that because it will ask me to allow the program to run. And that's very useful because then it won't, uh, my rocket won't shoot off into the distance without me knowing it. Then it will try to engage the autopilot, which isn't very successful for some reason, but I will find that, find that out later. You can't win them all on the first try. Uh, it will turn the throttle to 100%, which is not very useful, but cool. Uh, it's not very really useful with solid rocket boosters because the solid rocket boosters have only one setting of throttle and that's start and it will go full. Uh, it will sleep one second and then the rocket will the rocket stage will launch. It will activate the next stage of a rocket like you 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 do with the space bar in Kerbal Space Program. Now the next thing is a little bit a little bit more advanced. It will check out uh, the remaining fuel in the solid rock boosters and uh, booster and if it's almost out it will sleep for one second and then it will drop it so uh, you will see that of course and then uh, I have something uh, uh, to pierce the resistance I learned how to activate a part in Kerbal Space Program and you will see that happening also so uh, off screen I will start my Python script for from uh, my Windows Explorer. Uh, by the way, uh, I've installed Python. That's something you need. The plugin is not enough. You need uh, Python. I have Python 2.7 installed. But basically, when you run Python scripts and you have the plugin and you have the Python library, then you're off to go. So that's very cool. So I now run the script. And you'll see that I have to allow it to run. So I will do that. What you will see is you see the throttle going to 100%. The rocket starts very dramatically. You see the solid fuel level going down here in the lower left corner. 
and when it's out it will drop away with a glorious explosion and the PS that is done, the solar panel extends. Yeah, I know it's totally useless, but it is so cool that I'm able to do this. I, I just love this. <laughs> There's so much possibilities now. Now I know how to do this simple thing. I can do a lot of other stuff. It's gonna be cool. And I have some plans for KRPC in the future. I think I'm gonna do a uh, autonomous uh, suborbital flight and then I try to get into orbit. Uh, I'm going to need to learn a little bit more math about orbital mechanics. <laughs> it's uh, uh, it, I need to do some math to learn some math about how to direct the spacecraft because it's no longer using the the, uh, the A, uh, S, D and W key anymore. Uh, I have to do it. Uh, I have to tell it exactly where to go. But uh, yeah, who knows what cool things I can come up with this uh, with this uh, plugin. It's I love it, and I love that I can I know enough Python to do this. So uh, if you don't know Python yet, um, follow that course, uh, interac Introduction to Interactive Python Programming Part One. It's a uh, very yeah, it's 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 not too hard for if you don't know anything about uh, Python uh, about programming. It's a good way to start. Uh, they have also some introductory courses before that. If you want need to know more about how to program, and you know very little about it, and um, uh, yeah, very powerful, very interesting, uh, very accessible uh, programming language. So um, yeah, and Kerbal Space Program. If you don't know Kerbal Space Program, you see it, it already lo looks pretty cool. It has beautiful explosions when things go wrong. I highly recommend that too. So who knows, in the future you'll see some more YouTube videos with automated rockets flying from my little launch pad here on the planet Kerbin. Until then, goodbye and thanks for watching.